So uh, today I've been at um, St Helen's Bishopsgate. Uh, we partner with them at Clayton TV and get their sermon. So it's been really good to look at their end of their system and uh, chat to um, Troy and to Lydia and look at all their things they're doing. Uh, I've taken quite a lot of pictures um, so I'll do a voiceover for that later. Uh, so this is the entrance to All Souls that I've been using uh, into their office buildings. So what are my first thoughts from St Helen's? Well, um, they've got a very different tech set up to us, but they do use ProPresenter and it's been so helpful uh, to see what uh, they find helpful and what they find a bit uh, frustrating about that. And um, also just the staff have been so lovely. You've got a really big staff team and um, between three of them, they do a lot of the stuff I do. Uh, but it's been a real privilege to find out more and I've really enjoyed that. I'll do more thinking on it when I get home, but my first thoughts are there is a lot to learn from them, even though they have a simpler setup and that's really exciting to me. Here is the main St. Helens building. And over there is St. Peter's, where they do a lot of the Bible studies and different bits and bobs. It's a really great resource to have so many buildings right here in the centre, very, very centre of London. So yesterday, um, I came home today, but yesterday I was at uh, St. Helens Bishop's Gate. Um, and um, that's a church um, in right in the centre of London. In fact, it's right next to the Gherkin. Um, they're a church that at Clayton TV we have a partnership with. We've been uh, receiving their sermons for a few years now and we uh, put those on uh, weekly um, to help them uh, get them out. Um, their rector is William Taylor and it was great to uh, have a quick chat with him and meet him um, and um, meet some of their other staff. Um, when I uh, was at the Women in Ministry conference, uh, uh, there was a lady called Leone in my um, group and she she works at that church. Um, and then um, I was able to uh, stay with some friends of mine who both uh, work there as well. Um, so I spent uh, all of my time in London staying with uh, Lydia and Dorothy who um, were both at JPC way back when and were friends of friends and I would like to say now are now my own friends and I've got to know them uh, much better over the week. So uh, yeah so that's uh, been really lovely and um, it's been great to get to know them better um, and uh, their church family. Um, so on, on Friday just gone, uh, well at time of filming, um, I spent the day uh, with uh, Lydia in the morning and then Troy uh, in the afternoon learning uh, about their setups and the way that they do tech. Uh, one of the things that was really exciting to me is um, their back end of their website. So they have um, a system that I'm hoping um, we might be able to replicate at JPC, but it essentially um, you put all the information in the back end and it uploads to YouTube, it uploads to Vimeo, it uploads to their church website. It does all of these various things. Um, and then if you spot a mistake, so um, sometimes, you know, I'll have spelt something wrong or Saswell or we'll have, I don't know, missed a capital letter or, or whatever it is. And we have to go in back into all these different places um, and edit it. And if we miss one, then it's right in one place, not right in the other places. It's a nightmare. And um, this website that they have, this back end, um, if you edit it in that back end, um, it it then flows through to all these places. And so that was really an uh, exciting thing uh, to uh, finally see. Um, one of the places it flows through from that website is is to us at, at Clayton TV. And then uh, Saz takes that information and gets it onto Clayton TV for us. So that was uh, exciting to be able to see the back end of that and see um, their system. It's something that uh, money dependent I'd love to be able to introduce for Clayton TV. Um, for the sole purpose of we miss things and uh, there is human error and to have it all in one place and something that flows out would be uh, fantastic. I think that would be a game changer both um, for the amount of time we spend doing the things we do um, and, and all of those other things. I think that would be a really powerful tool for us at Clayton TV actually. Um, so do uh, be praying that I'd be able to um, liaise with Alex Priestley, who's the guy who, who set it all up, um, and that we might be able to sort something out that might be really helpful for ministry going forward. That's been a real uh, exciting nugget. I think the other thing uh, that was a really exciting nugget as well um, was they use um, a task to-do list, a uh, bit of software that comes with Teams, um, where you can set other people jobs 
and uh, they use it particularly you know for uh, if there's a flyer coming up and, and people digitally put it all in and they assign the job to um, their design lady um, and so maybe we decide you know put that all in and assign that to Nicole at JPC or whatever that would be um, and uh, each of those things uh, come in you can update each other with them you can um, say whether they're finished or in progress or or where they are in the various tasks in them so that was really another really exciting thing that I think I'll I'll look into I think um, there are a lot of things uh, with uh, in me and in Saz's jobs that are very this happens each week and so it happens so it wouldn't need to go in there but I think because a lot of that takes up a lot of our time we then lose our project so um it would be good to have that so that um say I ask Saz to I don't know um <clears throat> come up with a new idea for the front end of Clayton TV you know I want to redesign that what would it look like what would you make it look like um then I could say you know, I need this by this date, this by this date, this by this date. And I could see if she's done it and see if she's filled it in. Uh, you can also attach things and ideas. So that was that was a really helpful uh, thing to see. And um, those two things are, um, yeah, very useful and very helpful. Um, I think uh, what I've been doing with the bulk of the churches I've been visiting is slightly different. I've been looking at their tech and, and going through things. And I think and um, I did that as well. Um, so let me tell you a bit more about that. They do have Pro Presenter. I'm yet to find a church that has Faith Life Proclaimed. So I might get in touch uh, with uh, Tim at Roxalt and see if I can go down and visit them. Um, but uh, to look at uh, those things, um, to see how they set up presenters so on the Friday, I was able to just uh, sit with uh, Troy in the afternoon and um, just watch him put in the various things that um, they needed for the Sunday. And then on the Sunday, I was able to see how that flowed flowed through to their workflow. Um, they've got one of the smaller items than we do uh, with the encoders inside. So everything is slightly different. They've got um, almost identical cameras to our um, ones that we take uh, away to film, as it were, um, which is cool. Um, and they have lots of, of cool setups of things that aren't... Uh, they now have loads of switches. So at JPC, we have loads of switches and I get really jealous of places that um, don't. I think that's an aim for us. Um, I think um, if we ever had the budget to do it, actually what would be really helpful would be to cut down that turning on time. Uh, so they can turn everything on from uh, the tech their tech desk, uh, apart from like three things. So I think they've got like two places in the church building they need to go to get everything set up. And I think that was um, that's really beneficial, actually, um, to be uh, particularly with volunteers to be able to go. You press those. A lot of the time we spend training up volunteers is showing them where everything is, and then the actual operating and 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 honing in those skills um, gets much less attention because there's so much to learn to get A B C D done. Um, so that uh, was really interesting. And they have a simpler system, they just have two cameras, they don't have camera heads or anything like that. Um, but all the same, that was really helpful to look at. And um, yeah, I think they were um, doing things really well. Uh, the church was originally um, set up because um, they wanted something uh, right in the middle of the business district um, to, to reach out to, to business people. Um, and they have, you know, lunchtime uh, talks and uh, other things like that, which are really um, great. And and the Sunday services um, felt really welcoming. Um, I think I've been really struck everywhere I go that people don't wear dog collars um, and we do. And I'm sure there's positives and negatives to that. But I think one of the big positives is it makes Sundays feel much more uh, informal um which is just an interesting thing to mull over i don't know whether um i'll take that back to people or not but that was just an interesting thing to mull over um but yeah i had a really good time at saint helens it was really interesting it was really helpful and they were really welcoming it was lush to have a chat with some of their staff as well um let me end by by praying for them
Father God, we do thank you for St. Helen's Bishop's Gate. We thank you uh, for William Taylor and uh, for Lydia and for Dorothy and for Troy and for their whole uh, church staff and church family. Uh, we thank you that um, they are seeking to uh, reach out to those in the middle of um, the business district and uh, for all those businessmen who um, don't know you and businesswomen who don't know you. Father, we pray that you would work powerfully through them, that you would bring uh, revival in Bishopsgate and that you would bring many people to know and love you. Father, we thank you um, for um, that really uh, great time in God's word, looking at, at men and women and uh, how we relate to one another. We thank you that we are equal in dignity, but different in role. And uh, yeah, Father God, we pray um, for all of them that you would uh, bless that church, bless their ministry and grow it for your glory. In your mighty name. Amen. Over and out.